Hey guys, welcome to Road Ride. I'm Ladrib. I'm Alex Vanover. I'm Les Flyer C. And I'm Bubby FPV. And this is a flight controller. A flight controller is basically the brain of a drone. This controls uh, how the drone stabilizes itself, sends all the signals to the motor, creates the on-screen display. I mean, this is a really impressive bit of technology. And today, for us FPV pilots, it's pretty easy to get your hands on one of these. But you know, just a few years ago, back in like 2015, 2016, they were a lot harder to get. I mean, we were buying like a $100 open pilot boards and they're really hard to get and they didn't fly nearly as well, right? Right. Yeah. And before even that, it was even more difficult. Flight controllers didn't even exist and people were actually making their own flight controllers with an Arduino. One board that has a bunch of inputs and outputs and you can program it to, you know, say, look at, a, at the light from a light sensor and based on the level of light, activate a server or really anything you can think of. So people were using Arduinos to create the first ever quadcopter mixers where they would send outputs to four different motors based on the inputs of a radio. But what really makes quadcopters possible to fly is having an IMU, a gyro and an accelerometer that can sense the motion and the, the absolute angle of the drone to help that drone be able to fly. Right, you gotta tell the flight controller what the drone's doing so it can know how to compensate. And this is, I think, the most interesting part of these early pioneers who are making their own flight controllers is where the gyro came from. Some of the very first hobby drones that ever existed were built based off of a video game. Back in the day, people actually used to take apart the Nintendo Wii game controllers and rip out the inside guts of them, pull out the gyros, and they would take apart the nunchuck and pull out the accelerometer from inside so that you could stabilize the drone. All these parts actually came from a video game. It was a cheap way to get those parts. So this is a modern day drone with an old school Nintendo Wii game controller built flight controller. This is a home built flight controller. So I know what you're thinking, this is a Wii controller, this is not a Wii controller. In the early days of Wii, the, you actually had to clip on a separate device to get access to the gyros in the Wii Motion Plus. The newer versions of the Wii remotes have all that built in, so it was less bulk and less pieces and parts you had to swing around. Today we don't really care too much about the accelerometer, at least not in freestyle drones, because we don't want self-stabilized flight. We want to freestyle, we want to fly completely in manual control. So I didn't take the time to actually rip apart the nunchuck to get the accelerometer out of it, but if you really wanted to have the full capabilities of the software, you could technically pull apart this nunchuck. Rather than rip apart a perfectly good looking Wii remote, we're going to go on the internet and buy a generic Wii Motion Plus and just take out the pieces that we need. I've already cut some of these things off of here, uh, but this right here is our three axis gyro that we're gonna be using to build our flight controller. I thought it would be more intense than this, but it turns out it's just a little board that all we need. We basically take off the components from the board and this is our gyroscope that we're gonna need to attach to our Arduino, which we're gonna load the software on, which is gonna communicate between the two, and then we'll have a working flight controller when it's all said and done. It's yeah. huge tire to spend $40 on a flight controller. You Save money! You can go out and buy a $10 Arduino and a $15 piece of equipment from Nintendo, and then you have a $25 flight controller that so flies much worse. Crack, <laughs> crack open. <laughs> yeah, you think Betaflight's hard to use. Just oh, wait until boy. you're trying to do multi-wee. <laughs> multi-wee, that name is just sounds so old. I'm like listening to all you guys, I'm like, what the heck is all that stuff? I started off on... <laughs> I started off on a Brain FPV Radix board <laughs> on, on Betaflight nice 357 board. and like... four. Yeah, it was an Betaflight. F4. Back F4. in my day, <laughs> back in we didn't even know Betaflight. Betaflight didn't exist. Let's see how it flies. Yeah, I mean, I, I think it's gonna be, I think it's gonna be really interesting because we've got the most archaic, old school flight controller possible with modern ESCs, hmm. modern high performance motors. And like really good. Yeah, we're even running yeah. BLHeli 32 ESCs. Not that you can take advantage of any of that stuff yeah. with this old firmware. And not but. to mention the <laughs> HD video system. I mean, when we were, oh, right. yes. when we were flying, DJI. when we were flying home built flight controllers, I mean, not, it, only was, not only was it hard to fly, but it was hard to see. Yeah, I mean, you were using like <laughs> security cameras that were yeah. decased and all sorts really, of right? stuff. Super yeah. narrow lenses, not even goggles, just screens usually. Yeah. So this thing definitely has a leg up on like the drones as a whole back in the day. Absolutely. But I think this is still going to give us an idea of what type of flight controller performance they were working with when FPV drones were really starting out. There are some uniquenesses about this that I warn you, want to warn you about so you don't break it immediately. Okay. okay. This doesn't have air mode. It doesn't have an idle up and if you drop the throttle below 5%, the drone just loses the all control. just stop, huh? They don't hey, completely what do you stop. Mean they stop. They stay spinning. So back but in the, the day, Bubby, again, when we were yes. flying uphill both ways, <laughs> if you lowered your throttle all the way, okay. the props stopped. What? The props would come to a stop. It's like, what? And you would be a dead duck. 
and then you could raise the throttle and start the props, but then the drone had shifted, so it would like it would yeah, like snap back and sometimes overwhelm the drop controller. Zero throttle. Yeah. Really? Is yeah. It, is so this isn't a joke. So this then, is not a joke. so then, the, 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 the first solution to that would be in your radio, you'd have a setting. You would oh you would no, flip a switch that. Okay. that so that even when your stick was down all the way, mm -hmm. it would keep like 5% throttle, and that was gotcha. called idle up. Oh, another thing that I want to warn you about is it doesn't like to disarm hmm? if the throttle's not all the way down. Okay. All right, so if you're in the mid throttle and you hit disarm, it ain't gonna disarm. It doesn't just drop out of the sky like beta flight. You literally have to disarm and drop the throttle, otherwise okay. it won't technically disarm. So be, be warned that when you come down to land, drop the throttle and disarm at the same time. Okay. Also, when if you're on a pitch stick, you go up, up, down, down, left, left right, left, 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 right. BA, select start. <laughs> you, <Yeah. laughs> what? Now he's what? joking. Now he's joking. <laughs> Wow. Oh, whoa, whoa, what was that? Whoa, whoa, what the whoa, heck was that? It does stuff that you don't expect. Whoa, whoa I know. What, what the heck? This thing is, uh, wait, I can't fly this thing. Oh my god, what the heck? Uh, you nearly adopted the darkness. Oh my god. We were born in it. Oh, dude, I'm at like, I'm at like 60% throttle. What is this? Is <laughs> everything? Why? You oh, start, uh, I started automatics. I bet you Sharp. <laughs> oh, yo, I just did a roll. Let's go. Yeah, back in the day. I bet you Sharpu's old videos look really good to you now, right? Yeah. Oh, they, oh, they, oh, I'm so impressed by them now. Like, yeah, like back in the day, that roll was pro. You were like, oh my god, you, oh, you shot a gap. Like, like, <laughs> like to be honest, like, if I'm gonna be honest, like, you know, watching a lot of the old school vi videos, I didn't realize how hard it was to actually fly the quad. So, like. I have a new level of no respect for you guys. What <laughs> no, I, 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 I started have... two years ago, then you don't understand how good those things Exactly, that's why I'm saying. Like when they're so you smooth zoomer. and the quads are flying good. Whoa, what the heck was that? I didn't do that. I did not do that. Why are the rates so low? I cranked them up. They were even lower. What? Than how do you? Oh my. Oh, uh, you can't really go full stick. Try a full stick roll and see what happens. Oh gosh, do it. <laughs> oh, what the heck was that? What? <laughs> what was that? What I, I, I did the roll. I don't All right, you just go up and. There we go. Oh, that that was so you dropped scary. throttle too long. No, I, I didn't drop throttle at all. It, no, not so there. It, when you're, if you go a full stick roll and have that much speed. Whoa! Oh, I did oh! <laughs> What did you do? I don't know. I, honestly, I think you just saturated the, uh, you saturated the gyro, right? Really? Yeah. Uh, I think that it can't I think you work flipped. as fast. I think it, it, yeah, I don't think that it actually sends updates fast enough to compensate for such a fast. Yeah, you know result. how we were like, you were like 8K, 8K, yeah, and all a, that? Yeah. This is like 500. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so did you start on Florida Quad that flew like this? Or like Not this, this bad. Okay, no, I was, bad? I was kind of three or four stages past this. Okay. But like, my quads definitely had that drunken feel that you're saying. <laughs> yeah. like, oh, 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 but not. I'm excited to try this. This will this will also be for me the. I mean, back in this day, if you crashed like that, you pretty much went home and rebuilt your drone. This is actually like kind of like I want to build one of these now just to no. see how good no, I can. Yes, I do. Yes, no, I do. You, yeah, you want to crack open Nintendo Wii? Whoa. Whoa! Yeah, I think you gotta. You should power cycle it. The coolest thing for me when I was watching Sean build this is that like. So you've got the Arduino, yeah. which is like, it's an Arduino, what does he have, an Arduino Nano, is that what you used? Yep. yep. So it was, like a, it was like a little rectangular board, and then the board that has the gyro on it out of the Wii is like a separate board. So this, separate there's board? no one flight controller in there. So how many boards are there? There's two. There's, there's two. one that does the flight controller thinking, okay. and one that has the gyro, the gyro, and they're just connected with soldered wires. I don't see battery voltage, but okay. Yeah, you, you yeah. don't have On-screen display, yeah. Oh my god, <laughs> oh, wow, yeah, you think, yeah. He's oh, really you got a he's... timer on the radio, that's how you know how really? You okay. Yeah, that's right. There we go. Let's go. Dude, okay. Let, I'm gonna put it stick center. Whoa! Isn't that why crazy you how that? you literally have to power cycle, power cycle it just to get it. To Look, go yeah, back I'm going in a again. straight line, and my sticks are not even centered. Like yeah, it, I have to. It drifts a lot. <laughs> and that's the best tune I could get. It. I literally spent hours tuning this thing to try to get oh, it as good God. as I could get it. Ah, this is the best tune I can come up with. Let's go. I'm gonna throw another roll. Yeah. There's no filters. There's no special fancy stuff. You Woo! Hey, Yo. PID on pitch roll and y'all, that's it. You've done open air rolls, made it through some gates. Um, Matty flip, right? That's the next <laughs> That's the next thing. Sure. I can guarantee you no one has ever Matty flipped a multi-wee flight controller. Uh, yeah, probably not. I mean, maybe. <laughs> Send me your videos if There's you... There's no way. Oh, oh, you went through oh the gate? God, I meant no, Matty flipped the trees. The, I thought that too. He Holy crap, why don't you just do the, the gate trees? Because the tree's big. Well, no, there's this huge gap. That's the point. <laughs> what? I mean, if you can do the gate, go for it. But uh, oh, 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 so oh, it was clean. Do you think you could do the gate? I, I think the gate would be easier. <laughs> okay. Okay, Zuber. Yes, yeah, Zuber. 
No oh way. Oh my he's gosh, he's so almost, close. He almost did it. Oh <laughs> my I don't even know where my battery's at. It's funny. Dude, this is full yaw. Why is it so slow though? Like, shouldn't it still be able to... That's how it was. Oh! Let's go! Oh my gosh. Well, I'm gonna bring it in because your battery might be just dead. <laughs> the multi Wii Matty flip. Oh my gosh. Did you hear that oscillation? Oh my oh. gosh. <laughs> no, it's, yeah. Nope. <laughs> That's oh a lot God. of fun. Yes, that experience was uh, so good. I don't even know if I can go back to modern quads. <laughs> See what Levy was talking about. This is pretty bad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like having to hold full right yaw just to go in a straight exactly. line. <laughs> I'm trying to do a left yaw. Oh, like, yeah. Throw. She she yaws good. What didn't yaw she, good? She's for got me. she's got some you know some kick to her, but you know. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I, I think it's over with the gyro. I knew I wasn't that bad. This is like look at my my stick. This is to go, <laughs> This is to go in a straight line. <laughs> I'm telling you, my, my wee bowling balls are always going off to the left, and I think it's because that gyro has been off the whole time. Oh, come on, just go right. I'm full right, y'all. I'm full right, y'all. Come on. <laughs> hey, not the words up. Bacon yeah. yank, baby. Bacon, bacon yank. yank, baby. <laughs> Power loop. Oh, that was Legit power loop. I'm full right yard right now. I'm trying to turn. Let's see your Rubik's cube. A Rubik's cube? Okay. Rubik's. I, I gotta get it. Get to just go some altitude. really high. Yeah. Get some altitude. Oh my gosh. Uh, oh, let me get more altitude. Let me get more altitude. You could have made it. No, you could have made it. You could have made it. The gyro is definitely messed up after that crash. This is like, it, it, I'm like holding full right just to like keep it straight. It won't turn right anymore. <laughs> That's pretty high. Oh, okay. Yo! Oh, easy! Easy! Inverted jaw spin. I was thinking the oh same gosh. thing. Yeah, I don't know if I'll be able to get out of it though. Okay? <laughs> I just mess up the gyro. Don't do it over the tree. <laughs> yeah, tell me if I'm, I think I'm over the field. Yeah, you're good, right here. Oh my oh, god. Oh, kind of. I mean, so yeah, yeah, it like just, two degrees. I have to hold so much throttle just to keep it from uh Which way is the faster yaw spin? Left. Yes, yeah, so that's what I was, I was going left. Oh, oh, there it is, there it is, there it is! Yes! Oh! Oh no! Yes, 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 yes! Oh! <laughs> yes! Oh, it's like, I guess he doesn't have any more. He doesn't have any more. That's how it was, man. Just Ground doing trick. simple open air tricks was like mind blowing. Ground effects <laughs> saved. Now, I see why now. <laughs> That was good though. That was, that was, I'm pretty proud of that, that play. Awesome. That was, that was awesome. To be good. fair, I have flown quads that fly. It just it's been like 10 years. And <laughs> I've flown some stuff that's about that bad. That's how it used to be. I'm, like I'm pretty impressed like, with the fact that we built that flight controller and it flies as good as it does. I don't think with the older stuff you could have done uh, inverted spins, Maddie no, flips. You just the, couldn't have yeah. done it. So like kind of combining the two is the only way you're even able to do it. There was a point in the history of drone technology where yaw made a huge improvement, a huge leap. And I was super excited because I could actually do a really fast yaw at that point. But up until that point, yaw was really slow. Yeah, they had to and figure something out. I mean, yaw, the best way to get good yaw back in the day on a multi-rotor was to build something with an articulated motor like a tricopter. Yeah. That's why tricopters happened was because yaw on quadcopters, you know, really yaw on anything exactly. that was relying yeah. solely on that uh, vectoring the angular momentum just didn't work that hot, but they figured out something eventually, right? Yeah, they figured out something and they were able to just get that yaw performance to be amazing to where it actually surpassed tricopters. It's so weird seeing that, that he's given it everything he's got and it's just like... <laughs> it's barely moving. <laughs> <laughs> I originally built this, I didn't have a way to mount the flight controllers to the drone because they don't have this the amazing little 30 by 30 mounting holes that we use today on our flight controllers. I ended up just mounting it into the drone with double-sided tape in the first couple stages. So I ended up 3D printing these mounts to actually lock them in place so that they would be a little more stable. It also added the soft damping effect of TPU that we would normally get off our gummies on our current modern flight controllers. So it kind of added a little bit of damping to it to help it fly a little better too. That's well, crazy. when I originally built this, I didn't have these 3D printed parts ready yet. I literally put it together with double-sided tape because I wasn't <laughs> sure which direction the gyro needed to face. I, gotcha. The first couple flights didn't go so well. Yeah, that ain't right. You can't just change the gyro like 
You take in it up in the configurator, in, right? Yeah, in some, yeah. In, in some code. Let's show you no. what the configurator yeah, looks can you like. Show, here. show me this. I'm really curious. <laughs> there you That's go. That's what the configurator used to look like. I can see the pixels. You see all of that <laughs> tuning you have access to? That's all your tuning right there. That's what you get. I went through hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of lines of code, trying to just figure out how it all worked. It was kind of cool because I learned the software. You can learn the software just by reading the code if you know a little bit about coding, um, and you can figure out how everything works and how anything everything connects together. It's kind of cool, but it's very tedious and time. Consuming. Turns out I only had to change a couple of values, but knowing which values to change was the tricky part. And without having the proper documentation, it was really difficult and time consuming for me to try to figure out in code what I needed to change to make it work with just the regular Wii Remote, which is the first piece of software that was written. So, what type of receiver protocols did you guys use? Like across So this was all fire? PWM. Back in the day, we didn't have S-Bus, we didn't have D-Shot or Multi-Shot or any of that fancy stuff. We had one wire for yaw, one wire for pitch, one wire for roll, one wire for throttle, and one wire for aux. Really? You had to do that That's many it. wires? Yes. You could wire for everything. And so the cool thing about the way I set this up, I'm actually running Crossfire, but the Crossfire nano receivers, you can actually program each pad on the board to do what you want it to do. So I actually set it up to be channel one, channel two, channel three through six. So I have channels one through six actually mapped from the Crossfire Nano into the board I'm an old technology It's crazy. from a new receiver. Yeah. Uh, I can't wait to see this drip flow. Old, old people stuff. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so you can just hold yaw. Oh my God, the latency. <laughs> oh, it feels like I'm gonna move the stick now and then it moves. Oh, it, it, it feels <laughs> like a half second or more of latency. <laughs> like it feels, oh, that's what it feels like to me. All right, let's just see this roll action. Oh, a little too much roll there. <laughs> too let's, much let's roll. Let's try one the other way. Oh my gosh. Go. Yeah, if you give it full stick, the gyro can't keep up. It's kind of crazy. I didn't, that wasn't full stick. <laughs> <laughs> no, are you kidding me? Do full stick. Uh, okay, I'll do one go full pretty stick. High. Full <laughs> stick. Okay, yeah, it, it, it like, it, it feels like it's doing it in chops. It is. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Like it's doing yeah. it like here we are. Here we are. <laughs> oh, oh, no. oh, that was, oh, that was oh, sick. A little emblem in there. A little emblem. That was sick. That was that was smooth. Yo, Drew is really good at flying the squad. Drew is like ripping. Oh, oh no 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 no! Oh. <laughs> I was trying to link a Maddie flip. Dang. All right, what am I supposed to do? I'm supposed to trippy, trippy spin. spin this thing. Well, you're too good at flying. Stop. <laughs> Yo! What? Yo! What? Oh! Oh! How much right yaw are you holding? Yeah, you know, look like you're only much. Maybe <laughs> your ex, um, calibration was like. I'm holding a left yaw actually. Really? That's what it was for me too. I was holding right. Changes <laughs> every time you plug in. Because I'm like, it looks like it's fine really good right now. Uh, may it look right way. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my gosh. He's actually. Wow, that looks really good. Oh, I, I can really only pull one rotation. Trying to link more, it just doesn't want to do it. Yours seems more powerful. Oh, 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 oh. It's flying much better. Uh, yeah. You think it is? I not. think so. No, I, think I was so. holding full. I right think now. I'm just that good, man. I think I'm just that good. I don't think so. Are you kidding me? I'm working this thing. Okay, this is. It's called finesse, children. Okay. Oh, I've been flying longer than you. I think it just depends on what it feels like when you plug it in. Really, <laughs> like I really do feel like that. You guys are jokers. Here, I'm gonna land this. I'm gonna. I'm gonna hand the controller to you and, and it's show you it's me. that there's no. Difference Difference. Okay, I'm just I'll gonna go land first, it right yeah. here. Just undo the thing. <laughs> These kids really think I'm cheating. Think I'm cheating. It's way better. No, it is not. It's <laughs> way better. It's How? way better. It's just, way just better. Look at it. I, I will say that. It's I have, way better. I will say that I noticed that if you plug it in, sometimes the gyro does better than other times. Sometimes it won't even take off off the ground. It's really weird. Oh, he's trippy spinning. He's oh my gosh, spinning. he's doing oh, it so good. You. Look at that. I told you it's wow. flying better. I, I want to try this. No, no, give it back, give it back, give it back. I kind of want, I'm going to try this. It's way better now. Way, way better. No. I'm trying. Yeah, just did a trippy spin. Yeah, I, after nice you saw landing. me do it. I, it, it flies way better nice now landing. than when I flew it. I'm not kidding you. I'm, it genuinely yeah, flies ball. way better. Ball. It flies way nice. better. What changed? Uh, what did, what did I do? Well, Nothing. Well, That's how it flies. Okay, well, Bobby still can't fly, but yeah. it does not fly any I wanna, different. I want to flee. I, I, I prom, I promise you, genuinely, it, it flew better. It's be, and for two reasons why. First off, I, well, I think the real reason is just the gyro calibration was better on your plug in. Because yeah, I'm not over. Mine, I was full yeah, flies, right, y'all. I couldn't do crazy. anything. It flies. 
Yeah, it's just a lot faster. There's more throttle. What are you talking and I, about? And, and, and I can leave the stick centered, and it just doesn't go anywhere. I was having okay. to hold no, so much. No, it's true. I was well. That, well, I, Bobby, I just, at I the same time. Did. Bobby, you're not holding our case very well when you fucking <laughs> crash it. I think the battery died. Sometimes when you drop oh, sure. throttle slowly, it'll decide it wants to drop throttle fast. <laughs> what? It just does what it wants. It's yeah. weird. Drew flew, it, Drew flew it the best. He flew it the best. This is actually is a phenomenon. Like, back in the day, performance was so inconsistent. I mean, it would just be from, like, still, you know, today, you know, changing temperatures, air pressure, you know, plastic props are a little softer, stiffer, the gyro's warm, whatever, like, the quads might fly a little different from one day or a week to the next, but like, back in the day, from one plug-in to the next, yeah. it could feel like just dr drastically different results just because it just right. was weird. Yeah, now it's really consistent. It really makes you appreciate what we have in our modern day stuff because you For can just real. plug it in and go. I'm excited. We got a home-built flight controller to even fly. <laughs> I mean, the fact that it flies good enough to do a tri trippy spin, I mean... Yeah. It really did fly. It flew better because of the modern day frame and right. motors. But like the actual flight feel on the sticks was, I felt that before. It really just again makes you appreciate how much the technology has come along. And anyone who's just started flying in the last like six years, in my opinion, is not gonna really be able to know the difference. It's so hard to communicate just what it feels like. You know what I mean? Like you guys are just seeing it move on the screen, but like, I don't know, it's, it's hard to, like we're really working at trying to keep it yeah. like under control. It's, it's like, a, it's like riding a uh, one of those mechanical bulls. You're yeah, like, a little bit. There's a little bit of it's doing what it wants, and you just gotta kind of guide it. It's an armadillo, is that? Yeah. Oh I my god, dude! I've never armadillo. seen an armadillo. Hey, buddy. There's just a dillo, man. Where's my phone? <laughs> I've never seen an armadillo in real life. I think they have these in California. He's just digging. What's he looking for? It's so cute. Do you know about this double whip? Uh-oh. Bring down What if I did it off the table? Do, do it off. What oh is God. this? Oh my God. <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> double whip. What is happening? You got wood right below you. Just keep... What in the heck? God. That was the most lame thing I've ever <laughs> seen in my entire life. <laughs>